Oh, now it's right. It was just being weird. Well, it still says I only have like 107 combo when it's actually like over a thousand. Shank kills 36. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah! Cesspool counter! Nope, nope, get off, get off. I'm warning you. Yeah, if you're standing like on a train or a bridge, if you just shoot them enough, they'll eventually just fall off. Now, these guys right here, they just keep coming, you know, just. Well, not right now, exactly. I don't know if this is going to Shotgun time. I mean, the shotgun is really the best, pretty much the best that I've ever used. The Uzi sucks. This man. I don't know, I like the Uzi. I mean, there's only a couple situations where I found it mildly useful, and they were just like on bosses. Other than that, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I just don't know how to use it. I bet, I bet someone knows how to use it a lot better than I do. <laughs> two health drinks, or I don't know they're not called health drinks. I've just been playing too much Silent Hill. Oh, wow! I'm so lucky that guy didn't. Next. Next. This is how it's done. This is how it's done. No. Oh, crap. No. Get off, get off. Ah. Effie. 
EOF. I'm sorry, Senor, but my intellect is not as advanced as yours. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, fudge, dude. I was just trying to pick up the grenades. You didn't have to explode on me. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, it's shooting him off the train. Ooh, that was close. You'll find um, in hard mode, moments like that are like extremely irritating because there's no checkpoints. And that's really what made hard mode so hard. It wasn't the enemies so much. Like, once you got the hang of the enemies, that was pretty much a piece of cake. It was just the... No. It was just the gay moments like that where they'd shoot you off a cliff and stuff. You know? There's no checkpoints. So you gotta do it all over again. I mean, there were certain levels that would only take you 10, 15 minutes. And it took me, like, um... I wanna say three hours? Yeah. Alright, this boss, it's best just to stay back and I'm um, shooting the pistols. Most of the time, um, stay farther back than I was. You know, keep that one guy up top alive as long as you can, because I think if you kill him off too soon, the truck will automatically go in the rocket mode, which is right now. Basically, when that happens, um, if you stay back, you can this, like here, like this. <laughs> Stand back up against here like this. Usually you won't get hit. Now I'm saying usually. Um, I think I have got hit once. Like it's not that big. It's much safer than just trying to dodge them all in my opinion. Who knows? Maybe you're just totally badass in this game. You can dodge anything and everything. Like that. Yeah, this boss isn't that hard. Once you get I could go up there and throw grenades at him, but I mean, it's not really worth it because you know, it's a lot easier to get hit because you know the enemies start coming up behind you and in front of you and you get grenades thrown at you from the truck. It's just, it's a kill. Got him. No! Alright, that's it. You're going down, buddy. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. I remember one time, I actually jumped off, like, the train and threw the grenade. And as I was dying, I killed the boss, right? And this cutscene comes out. I'm like, sweet! I got him! And as soon as the cutscene was over, it started me off at the checkpoint right before the boss. <laughs> it was hilarious. Alright, so obviously we have a little vendetta for the butcher. Ah, you stupid dog. I got a vendetta for the dog. Jeez. Yeah, 
Yeah, just stay back. Stay back. Everything's ah. fine. Oh. Okay. That was a bit rough, I'll admit, but we got through it. Oh, <laughs> what the heck am I doing? Now, you gotta watch. Um, some of these platforming moments are not really timed right, I wanna say.